hallucinations are still a huge problem for large language models. Almost every week, there is a new research which is trying to tackle this hallucination problems in these LLMs. In this paper, which is called as Chain of Verification Reduces Hallucinations in Large Language Models by Shehzad, Thuliawala, Mushtaba Kameli, Chingzu, Roberta, Zian Li, Ashley, and Jason, trying to see that if the new method of chain of verification can reduce these hallucinations. In their early findings, they have found out that chain of verification or COVE method can really um, reduces the amount of hallucination in the LLMs. Now, in this chain of verification method, they first draft an initial response, then plan a verification question to fact check its draft, and then answer these questions independently so the answers are not biased by other responses. And then finally, it generates its final verified response. In this paper, which you can see on your screen, and I will drop the link in video description too, they have shown that COVE or chain of verification decreases hallucinations across a wide variety of tasks from um, list based questions, from Wikidata, closed book, multi span QA, and also long form text generation. Now, if you look at this example given on your screen, what is happening here is that given a user query, a large language model generates a baseline response that many contain that may contain inaccuracies or in other words, factual hallucinations. The researchers have shown a query here which failed for chat GPT. And then in order to improve this, chain of verification first generates a plan of a set of verification questions to ask and then executes that plan by answering them and hence checking for agreement. And then they found out that the individual verification questions are typically answered with high accuracy than the original accuracy of the facts in original long form generation. And then finally, the revised response takes into account the verification. The affected version of COVE answer verification questions such that they cannot condition on the original response, avoiding repetition and improving performance. So the beauty of this chain of verification is that it is quite simple, I would say, but still very effective in my opinion. Um, I would highly encourage you to read through this paper as not only they have shown this example and what I have just mentioned, plus they have also given the examples from the relevant work with all the proper uh, credits and stuff. So uh, a very good read, I would say, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.